I have to admit, I'm a hard working person. Raisin Bran Crunch and oatmeal. I've been eating a lot of the uh, s'mores lately. Oatmeal keeps your cholesterol down. Are you sure? <laughs> but I've been told. Uh, must be working because I'm not on a. I'm not on a. Uh, would you quit camera me? <laughs> oh, he don't like to be on camera. I'm not on uh, any statins anymore oh. because of oatmeal. Well, that's good. Room said, last I don't, night. said I don't feel good. Huh? Yeah. This was just last night. Just last, yesterday, well, yesterday afternoon. Oh. About three o'clock. Get this on camera and see if Jeremy spills. It's a handy little oil can. Yeah, it just takes forever. Yeah. To that hole. Well, how much does this hold? 7.3 gallons. Oof, it's gonna take a while. That's only two gallons. This, this is a gallon. That's only a gallon. gallon. <clears throat> well, we need to get one of them air powered pump ones. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we do. They just weren't so expensive. You still gonna try and sell this tractor or? Yeah, I yeah. listed on KSL oh. yesterday. You can list it on Tractor House or something. Okay. Get anybody interested. much used equipment moving right now or the not, way it, not the, too much around here I was gonna say with the way the economy is yeah, stuff at the auction put it on YouTube yeah, kind of <laughs> went to an auction last week yeah. I didn't trip I just stubbed my stuff toe kind of went you you're um, on camera kind of cheap so, he's fine He's Cameron and Jeremy. Yeah, but we can pick you up. <laughs> well, when you turn it around, you can hear you hear hear talking. You. Let them hear me. You're the pickle nader. Pickle nader. You're on too. You're on too. Pickle nader. Pickle nader. <laughs> Look, you're on there. We got to get him back on the ditch bank, though. Then we get some real good footage. Falling in the ditch. Pipes flying in. Pipes flying everywhere. <laughs> with a plunger. Black, <laughs> Black Ranger, just a blur flying by. <laughs> with, a, with his hand plunger in his hand. And and <laughs> so I have two <laughs> flying because <laughs> ditch banks are greasy and I don't want to fall down yeah. with them in my arms. Is it ever going to dry out enough so we can burn ditch this year? I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> Seems like every time I have a day off, it either rains or it's cold. 
I'll go take my tractor out of the shed a couple of years, a couple of weeks ago. And my son said, We're, we've got a storm coming in this weekend. Yeah. Let's just leave it until the storm's over. No need to be out of the shed and well, get wet. Your weeds are going to be harder to kill. Mm -hmm. I know, thanks to the weather. And there's a lot of them coming up. I know. Pisses me off. I don't dare hand crank that tractor to get out. Some son's got to help me. Turn well, that thing around. I can't hand crank it. I can even move it. And I can turn it over good, but I don't dare with my huh? with my shoulder being worked on. Occasionally, it hurts. As ornery and as tough as you are. <laughs> so we drag it out with the chain, and there's two. Get the other tractor out of there, and then we. And then you crank it. No, we pull it to start it. Put it back in. Pull start it. Pull start it. I was gonna say, how are you gonna? Pull start it in fourth gear, so it. Without spilling mm -hmm. it. Can you do it? I don't know. No. Oh, maybe turn it the other way. Turn this so it's facing the thing. Yeah, like that. I can't. Really? It's then the handle hits up here. Well, let's. Oh. Oops. Spilled a little bit. Why don't you? Why don't you have that bigger funnel, that orange one? Will it go in there? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Seen you spraying hay up by your dad's yesterday the other day. Do you spray it out or? Yeah, just round up in 24D. Sprayed some hay out over on Kelly Harris's too. Mm -hmm. You put corn up there? Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of corn on that ditch. I know. The two fields. Which fields? The two on Jake's. Oh. Oh, you're good there. I'm going to tell you when you change the oil, it's good to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. <laughs> no, you tell me. Yeah. Then you can get into the field trip from the box of tires and these get into the front of the Why don't you remind you before I don't you... know. I just remembered that. Is that because you're old? This isn't my job. Why did you, didn't you remind me? Not too long since I changed it. Oh. Don't remember shit anymore. Previous month to the current month. Turn that thing around. <laughs> Where'd you get that hat? From Jeremy. Oh, okay. that, was my, that was my favorite tractor. That piece of shit till you ruined it. That was a. That was my favorite <laughs> tractor. Why is it everything you let him drive? <laughs> you got that on film. Breaks down. It's on film. <laughs> The poor Black Ranger over there, he was the last one to drive it. The quad track, he blew up. I didn't blow it up. Remember when he went down the road with the chisel, the disc ripper down? <laughs> Disking up the road. Yep. Oh, good times. That's what I get for having my gloves on, I guess. Caught the lever. <laughs> oh, you yeah. Coming in the yard. Holy shit, what's going on here?
That'll be it. Yep. Yeah, that's just about all of that in there. That one, yeah. Still a half a gallon left in there, but that one was pretty full. Might be a little bit overfull when the oil drains off that head, though. Probably. You don't think so? No. There ain't that much sitting on the head? Who knows? You knock it off. <laughs> oh. You need to come around more often when I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that thing ought to break. Hey, don't jinx it. I've already broke one. What, you do drop it? No, it just quit recording. And you wore it out. It was brand new. Well, as brand new as work sent it to me for an anniversary gift, but... Well, maybe it's going to warm up now. I hope so. But it's supposed to storm this weekend. It is? Thought it was showing. Last I saw, it's supposed to be 70. I hope it don't storm this weekend. It's my weekend off. It's changed since this morning. Yeah, 75 Friday, 72 Saturday, I just got a text from that 66 Friday Sunday. Yeah. Maybe we can burn some ditch. I don't know. Friday, Saturday. Gotta get the Jeremy's gonna start plowing. Start getting some corn ground ready. Even though it's still really cold. It's almost too cold to be doing this, but a couple of fields have a lot of green coming back in them. So he's going to plow it under. I'll go get a little footage of that when he's ready to go. He's a plowing. what it is but there is just always something that's so nice about plowing and turning over all this fresh dirt the Jeremy is in our 8360R with our six bottom rollover on land plow and I'll explain what on land means here in a minute once he gets by me again 
the plow rolls over so that you can go back and forth both directions and not just have to go in a circle. But I cannot believe how wet the ground is. We have had quite a few storms the last little bit. But like I said, it's an on-land plow, so what that means is he's driving with his tire right on the edge of this dead furrow or the last furrow that the plow makes instead of driving with the tire in the furrow like sometimes you have to with certain plows I don't know which way is better all I know is it smells really good there's nothing like the smell of fresh turned dirt but a lot of our sandier ground like this stuff, this stuff's really sandy and dries out real easy. So we have to plow it to bring the moisture up so we have moisture to plant the corn into. We're going to be putting corn in this field for the, the neighbor had hay in it for the last three or four years. And it's kind of droughted out down here in the bottom. So he wanted us to plow it out and rotate it put corn in it for a couple of years and then we'll probably put uh, hay back in it for him if he wants to take it back over and run it again but right now this ground's really wet we had a couple of storms come in over the weekend put down about three quarters of an inch of rain or of water and then for the last month about every two or three days we've been getting storms come in put down a half inch here half inch there we've had a lot of rain this month which i'm not complaining about but at the same time it's kind of making it hard to get stuff ready for irrigation system or irrigation season we still got all our ditches we got to burn and clean and get ditched out so it's kind of putting us behind, but it is what it is. We'll get caught up eventually. But he's also plowing this because, as you can tell, there's a lot of hay that's come back. We didn't get a chance to spray it last fall. We just disked it. So there's a lot of green in here. He wants to get it plowed. And they're talking like another storm coming in. So, because we are a little early. But... Hopefully that other storm will come in and that'll make it just right. Sure is a lot faster than the old four bottom we used to have. Rolls the plow over, gets lined back up. They end up selling that tractor. I'm really going to miss that one. It's a dang good tractor.
Ethan's cleaning out the back of the truck. First load of goat poop out of there. I'm so glad we only got the two. What if we had the three? Three wouldn't be bad, but when you have to do this by hand, it's kind of a pain. I'm glad we only have to do it once a year. that out so we'll get another load. Got Ethan driving. Can't see out the window. Yeah, he's got her in low gear. The sun's right in his eye. But he's doing all right. So we'll get the next load spread out probably tomorrow or maybe this weekend. And then Jeremy will plow all this under so we can get this ready to plant into corn. And then, yeah, it'll be go time. All right, I'm gonna go help Ethan get out here on the road. So we'll call that the end of the video.